This is the one stroke gas check maker. I got this in 30 cal. Um, I bought this from Optics Planet on Black Friday, and this is the condition that it showed up in. It was mailed in a plastic uh, mailer, and uh, it got pretty beat up. Uh, if you're going to order anything from them, I suggest probably ordering a bunch of stuff all at once. That way uh, you have a box instead. But this is it. This is just a, uh, a punch and die. Um, what makes this different from other gas check makers, it, it makes a gas check in one step rather than punching out a, a cup or a disc first and then forming a cup. Uh, this just does everything in one step. So that's why I prefer this or the other products. Um, the only problem from shipping is there's a small little ding right here on the rim. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it still works. Um, I think they should have taped this together as a unit and then ship this in the package. That way it prevents uh, the critical areas from being damaged. But that's what it is. Um, as for the instructions, that could uh, be improved also because it basically doesn't go into a whole bunch of detail of what product to use or how to use it or any tips or tricks. It's just a, you know, a very simple guide, but this is how it comes from the factory. So I'm going to make my own little case for it and everything. So I'll be right back with that. All right, this is my version of how I think the product should have been shipped or produced. Um, this is nothing but one of those little tiny uh, spice jars. So it has a container that the, the cups would be captured in, and everything is contained in one unit. So all I did is I drilled the cap out. Uh, this little card is just to keep the dust and dirt out and to mark what the product is. But everything else is contained in there. You can get rid of the, the instructions. But to use the product, you would just put this back into the shell holder as is. And then using an extra lock ring, you can retain a lid. That way it holds all of your checks so they don't overflow on the press. Now, this does hold about 30 to 40 checks uh, inside the die. Because this entire length of the the die is hollow, so you have quite a bit of room there. So the the container isn't necessary, but once you get you know going in a rhythm, you want you want to keep going rather than have to you know take one off the top every time or take the die out. Um, this is like the same idea as these red catch cups from Lee for when you do the the sizing of your bolts or any of that other stuff. But this is how I think it should have been shipped originally. It's a more complete product. So let's go put this on the press and show how it works. Now to form the gas checks, I found that using uh, the Lee resizing lubricant works pretty good. Uh, it, it lubricates everything, it keeps it from sticking and it punches a, a better product in my opinion. So all you have to do is just uh, a little tiny amount. You don't need too much uh, normally would uh, warm it up on a finger like this and then just dab it around and just wipe the dabs just to spread it evenly and just like that there's a coating on it that uh, will help it punch and it dries almost instantly so all you do is just line up your check and just punch down you've just made a gas check uh, advance the sheet good that way you're not overlapping the holes that way you can look through it and know your spacing but it's easy as that and you can tell from this catch cup we don't have to worry about any of the overflow they're all contained and you can just keep going. All 
And then when you get to the end of the, the strip, just turn it around and continue on. Now I prefer to use the Lee Classic turret press. It's a little taller than the uh, RCBS RC2 I have in the background. Just gives you that little bit of clearance so that you can look into what you're doing and it'll feed through the press rather than having to feed uh, sideways through it. It's just a lot more uh, easier operation because uh, you hit the, the bar over here. Alrighty. Now to install the gas checks, what I like to do is um, apply a little bit more of that resizing lubricant and then uh, just wipe it on the uh, the bands here, just on a few of them. That way it, it spreads out when you're using a or sizing a bunch of these bullets. Um, that way everything operates smoother. All you have to do now is just literally just put a gas check on the bottom of it, just press it in tap it on the table a little bit just to get it to seat a little. These are a little tough because I already have powder coating that uh, was a little bit thick. So once it's on, run it through the press and give it a few taps just to make sure it's really seated and just push it through and you can keep doing this. So like I said, I, I powder coated these a little thick. So you won't have that big of a problem if you don't have powder coated or a thinner coating. That's easy as this. And let's check what we got. And then, uh, they're, they're seated and they won't come off. So, hope that helps. All right, an easy way to cut these aluminum strips is just to mark out one inch increments and then just use a paper cutter. I did this with scissors before and after you use one of these, you'll never go back. Last one's always the hardest. But just like that, you have all your strips cut and they're ready to be fed in. All right, to go over the materials that I had, um, I first started out with just a regular soda can and that's how thick it is. And the problem is I would just punch through them. So that didn't work at all. Uh, I then doubled the material. So I just took the soda can and folded it in half and it became that thick and it, it worked. I mean, you can get little gas checks, but the problem is they're two pieces. So other than like a, a craft project that make them look like little crown caps, I don't know what you would really use those for. But uh, then I tried this aluminum right here. This is just flashing that I've had in the basement for years, and I don't know where I can find more of this, but this is how thick this is. This seemed to work the best. Um, it produced uh, gas checks that are perfect looking, and they stick on pretty well. Um, but the problem that I, I've run into is the 150 grain, they work fine. The 170 grain, they don't really stick that well. And I don't know if it's just because the bases are different. Uh, they're slightly different for, you know, the, the bullets over here. So I don't know. Uh, but then to find other material of the same thickness, I found that uh, those Bud Light bottles, the, the aluminum beer bottles, uh, they're the same thickness. So they punch out well and you can find the readily available, but the problem is they don't stick on either of them. I don't know if there's the plastic coating on them or what's the deal on them, 
but they just don't stick. I've tried them inside and outside for the plastic by punching them in both directions. They just don't work. So finally, I went and got some uh, aluminum roofing flashing. So that's how thick that is. And the checks are, they're a lot thicker and they're taller. So I don't know how it grew in size, but it did. But the problem is these don't stick either. The 155 grains, they seem to work okay, but I, I don't trust them. You can still pull them off with a little effort, but the 170 grains, I, they just don't go on. They'll sit there and just, they'll mash over or it's, it's not good. So this is the, the options that I've had in aluminum. So then I tried some copper, which is that thick, but yet again, I couldn't punch through it at all. So I read on some forums that I should anneal the copper first to make it softer. I haven't tried that yet, but looking from all this stuff, the only thing that seemed to work was this, uh, this flashing right here. So I, I don't know where to find more of that. So this is where I'm currently standing. That's what I got, and if you got any suggestions or you know anything that works, uh, leave a, a link in the comments to that. Thanks. All right, after I filmed that last segment, uh, went upstairs to go feed the cats, and I found another source for aluminum. And it turns out it's the exact same size as the, uh, the sheet of aluminum, and it actually works well. So over here... These are the uh, the little the sheet of aluminum, and yet again, uh, there's a plastic coating on the inside of these. So there's two different sides you can choose from. So this is the aluminum on the outside, and this is the um, the aluminum on the inside. So there's a uh, that white coating on them. Um, yet again, the uh, the coatings don't really seem to want to stick to the 170 grains or the 155s too well, but uh, there's a lot of improvement. It seems like the, the metal doesn't have a memory where it wants to uh, stay where it's crimped rather than spring back. So you can still pull the checks off some of these. Uh, they're a lot more difficult, and this is the 170 that I was having problems with, and the 155, the, they perform the same as the the regular uh, aluminum stock. But uh, yeah, so you can still, you know, pull off the checks. It's a little difficult. I don't have any experience with other checks to know how how tight they need to be, but you can still pull them off. Um, for some reason, the uh, the 170 grain is more tapered at the base. I don't know if it will focus. Yeah, it seems to have a a taper, whereas the 155s are a little more more straight. So, yet again, um, it, it punches fine. Just gotta cut a can whenever you feed a cat. So, all right. Hopefully that helps.